does the person you are with encourage you to read you have to ask what does he bring for me roses or books if someone has a stake in making you better that person will push you towards books books are what we all need so i want to ask that uh, if we do something to make some one else happy by deceiving our own self is it worth it you cannot make someone else happy by deceiving your own self that kind of a thing cannot exist that kind of a thing exists only in ignorant kind of stories or novels or movies where you say that you know i want to um, just suppress my own pleasure or happiness to make the other happy the yes. the the characteristic of the real thing is that it is not exclusive in nature if helping someone uh, makes you feel sad within then that help is of uh, no use you getting if the help is 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 really authentic you will find that it 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 fills up your heart hmm? it raises you from within there is a certain joy even if that involves uh, losing time or making effort or losing money or compromising on something hmm? all those things be there but still there would be an internal fulfillment so both parties will gain one party will gain as the receiver of the help and the other party the helping party will gain through inner fulfillment hmm? so it's not going to happen that uh, in in a process of uh, of help um, it becomes a zero sum game where one party is smiling and the other one uh, is sitting with a shattered heart and saying oh in a bit to help the others see i lost so much no it's not possible uh, you see there was the very uh, famous uh, shanti part of the upanishads huh? that we had at the beginning of this session and uh, what did the shanti part say purnasya i'm not so sure about it ha huh. I'll, I'll narrate it to you. Purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate. Purnasya purnamadaya purnasya purnamadaya purnam avashishyate. Even when you take away the full from the full, fullness still remains. that's the characteristic of the real thing give away everything and you will still be left with everything in fact i'll go a step further give away everything and you are left with more than what you had <laughs> it's a strange arithmetic hmm even when the even when the infinite or the full manifests itself from its unmanifested state what you have is nothing but fullness purnam ev avashishyate only the full is left as remainder hmm? so this is a very special kind of giving you give and you find you have not lost anything at one time i had said give from empty pockets i do not remember which particular book it's contained in or which particular video you might find it in that give from empty pockets so on one hand it is true that you you give and you are left with mm, mm, what you had on the other hand even a bigger miracle is possible and the bigger miracle is you had nothing but you decided to give and when you decided to give it's then that you found how much you really had had you decided not to give 
you would have never discovered how much you had. Hmm? It is a very, very beautiful and precious uh, sutra for life. You will never discover how capable you are, you will never discover how rich you are and how powerful you are unless you devote yourself to something extremely important. Had you not devoted yourself, had you not given yourself to that cause, you would have kept thinking you are little, small, feeble, powerless, etc., etc. Hmm? The act of helping, the act of giving, the act of sacrifice, devotion, surrender, whichever way you look at it, that is what awakens your latent power, your, your immeasurable immensity. Mm -hmm. These are not merely heavy words, they are your reality. Right? You keep holding back and you will find all you have is little pettiness that you are holding back and preserving and trying to secure. Hmm? Start giving, start giving and you find that there is just, just so much that you can do. Yes. So, sir, it is basically meant that if we are helping others, we are helping ourselves first. Obviously, that, wonderful, that. wonderful. But also remember that uh, helping others should involve bringing them to their potential. Be careful when you are helping others. Hmm? Be conscious of the nature of help because often if you help in an ignorant way, your help can be counterproductive. It often is. We can spoil. You can spoil, yeah, you can spoil or you can render the wrong kind of, kind of advice or you can make the other person dependent on you. Hmm? So, remember the right kind of help. The right kind of help is that which awakens the other's potential. One characteristic of right help is that it, uh, it reduces the need of the helped to remain dependent on help. Hmm? The one you are helping should very soon become free of the need to be helped. That is the characteristic of the right kind of help. It works both ways. It will help that person or that cause and it will help you, the helper. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. It was so enlightening to know. Thank you so much. Thank you.